Welcome back, YouTube. Hope you all had a nice weekend. <clears throat> Welcome back for some more Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. We are currently in the process of escaping Rykad Minoris. The cultists are still alive and well. They ambushed our procession, our victory procession. And now we are fighting for our life. Trying to get back to our shuttle. Uh, Alright, I, I kind of have to walk her out. Through the open there. Kill that guy. Oh good, there's mines on the ground. Lovely. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Okay. Hopefully Cassia doesn't die. Here we go. Ow. Okay, she's good. Doubt is for the weak. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire. Ah, that's a lot heart. of uh, mines there. Oh, sh oh, okay. I hit reload. I didn't mean to hit reload. Okay. Boost our momentum. Um. Okay. For the throne's glory. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Indeed, reduced to dust. Nice. It will be done. Have momentum. Have momentum. I'll bring glory. Give it to, to my Cassia. But we can't actually get through this. Oh, maybe we can. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Nice. All right, two guys left. Nothing I can't do. Not a problem for me. Faith without deeds is worthless. Heavy is the tread of his faithful. Okay, boosting all our weapons. Cassie gets to go again. Yes, go up there, my dear. Let us see what I found. Oh my God, There's so many mines. Out of my way. We have to go all the way around. Okay, disarm. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. I better myself through my service. Can you even hit this guy? No. Can we hit this cover? No. Okay. The Emperor is on our side. But of course, Lord Captain. Okay, everybody just run up here. Can you hit this guy? I can't see him. Can you get down from on top of the boxes? No, you can't. That sucks. All right. Go this way, back around. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Uh, we can't do anything. Let's make it quick. Rejoice in battle. Oh, my God. Uh, run again. Get closer. As the Emperor commands, I act. There we go. I'm a I need a foothold. 
That's more mines. Naturally. I won't object to it. I feel the power surging. Kill him, please. I'll put my psychic abilities to use. Your reckoning is due. Alright. Oh, I, I don't want to level up. I'm restless. I want to disarm all these traps, please. The Emperor favors me today. Duty prevails. Okay, we're almost to the shuttle. Never doubt me. I imagine we'll have some exposition about the sun today. getting eaten or swallowed or sucked or whatever service. happened to it. Never doubt me. Duty prevails. And then tolerate weakness. We'll actually start the game. Maybe. Rip shooter? Sniper rifle. Maybe give that to Pedro Pascal. He could get a sniper rifle. Uh okay, so we wanna go this way. Play one more fight, right? Judging by the positions of the bodies, the soldiers walked into sniper fire and died before they knew what was coming. Oh no, I hope the sergeant... The sergeant's dead, isn't he? Oh wait, that's the way we came from. Shit. We want to go this way, actually. A new challenge for me? Ooh, a plasma gun. Okay. The insurgents walked in a crowd right across the mine barriers, seemingly oblivious. Oh, wait, that was from before. Wait. Some guards alive? Sure, it was placed in a great hurry, but the Technomat never had the chance to activate it. None shall stand in my way. Good guardsmen? Hey, guys. Uh, that's not the way, actually. We want to keep going this way. Okay, that... Ominous autosave. Hey. It's the governor. What's going on? The stench of Visaline and blood blankets the starport. Echoes of shouts and gunfire drift over the landing pads. These sh shards of plex glass crunch underfoot. You recognize Sergeant Malgar amid the crowd huddled next to the shuttles. He was the soldier who greeted you upon your arrival to Rykad Minoris. A group of bloodied and frightened people is wedged between Malgar's wardens and the shuttles. You recognize them as the governor of the planet and the members of his high-ranking entourage. Their expensive attire has been torn in the fight and many bare wounds left by bayonets. Uh, examine the people in the front of the shuttle. Some of the nobles are paralyzed with fear, others have succumbed to despair. Two corpses are lying on the ground with their arms outstretched. Black blood has pooled under one of them. The other skull has been split open like a nut, encircled by a pinkish crimson halo of bone splinters and bits of brain matter. Um. Sergeant, where are the people who were sent to assist you from my ship? They already went back to your ship, sir. Malgar is trying to sound respectful, but his voice is vibrating like a taut string. Good people, your soldiers, they helped us out. Unlike this carrion, he looks back at the nobles. Our esteemed governor, whoa, did he just punch him? Our esteemed governor and his gang of cronies have been cowering behind us. <clears throat> and now when things got rough, they thought they could scarper and leave us here to die. We've shed our blood for him and broken our backs to provide for him. And after all this, you think that's fair, you piece of grok shit? Malgar's stun baton hits the governor in the chest, causing the adornments on the governor's uniform to jingle in unison. The governor spits out blood and opens his mouth to respond when his head explodes. His body falls limp to the side, his remaining eyes staring upward. The chorus of the noble screams cannot drown out the sergeant's spiteful whisper. 
Enough. You've said your piece. Jeez, Sergeant, you're kind of... For generations upon generations, the nobles of this world care for Rykad, cared for Rykad Minoris and ensured the prosperity of its inhabitants. And this is your gratitude, peasant? For killing a nobleman, you deserve to be executed where you stand. Cassia throws out her hand and Malgar's knees buckle. My mentor was right. The rabble truly have no honor. Abelard looks at the governor's body, his brow furrowed. Madness, punishable by death. We don't have time for this. We need to get to the shuttle now. I mean, they're not wrong. Another in your position is uh, dogmatic. Look at yourself. If dogmatic, I feel like we execute him, right? Look at yourself, servant of the God Emperor. Whom do you serve? Humanity or its foes? How dare you speak of justice with kindred blood on your hands? Lower your weapon if you value your soul. Malgar raises his gun at you, only to immediately lower it. His hands are shaking. Shame and despair are showing through his mask of bloodlust. For crying out loud, your lordship, sir. <clears throat> How could you say such a thing? A dull thud comes from deep within the starport. Heavy footsteps ra shake the rock creep. Raising an unpleasant tremor in your bones. Oh. Okay. You thought you had killed all oh the shit. False believers. For I am Aurora. I am the Herald of Change. Okay. Behold the final dawn and die. All right, word bearer. Won't heed your cries of mercy. The just rebel leader gunner. Bunch of rebels. 317 HP. Oh shit. And he's got a heavy bolter too. Uh any of those guardsmen still around? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. You in the middle. No, I don't wanna. I can't level up now. Pretty sure. Can we? Wait, can we level up? <laughs> Maybe we level up real quick. No, we can't. We're in combat. Yes, yeah, I need you to hide. I wish I gave Argenta that plasma gun. Esquale, go back there. All right. We're going to get wrecked. Let the galaxy burn. Three damage. Can we maybe just get to our shuttle? Oh, my God. Okay. Ow. Fuck. Uh... Okay, let's control oh, shot. Please. This is unacceptable. One to four damage. Oh, uh, um, we have her kill the cultists. I think. I think we have to focus on him. As the, Emperor commands, the cultists I really don't do anything. <laughs> okay, we did seven damage. Or we did ten damage. Uh, run and gun. Faith without deeds is worthless. Shoot again. Missed. Furious recital. Commands, I act. Build momentum. Hold on. That's not good. That's okay. Uh, do we go into melee with this guy? He's got a blade, I see. Okay. Move here. Word of the Emperor. For the throne's glory. Give Abelard strength and toughness. Charge. Harried. Shit. 
Okay. Gene Spirit Banishment. Yes, boost our weapons, reduce his weapons. Ooh, six to 11. 19, okay. All right. Let's get to it. That's fine. Ow. Yeah, I mean, we'll just turn with her flamer. Okay, sworn enemy. Charge. Harried shit. Okay, 15 damage. At your back and call. Race for impact. Now Cassia can hold him in place. Or we could kill this guy. How come the thing is not popping up? We kill this guy so our Genta can Yeah, we should do that. Should because then Argento will actually be able to shoot. She won't be able to shoot right now. Yeah. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Another black. Give him some temporary HP. And Do not dare ask. Ah, target's too far. Shit. Um, Abelard go. Sworn enemy and swing and parried. Okay. All right. <clears throat> My turn. What does this one do? All man attacks made by the target deal additional damage equal to two multiplied by the numbers of enemy uh, uh, enemies adjacent to uh, uh, ally. The target is under the effect of voice of command. They immediately make an attack of opportunity. I... I think we all move... Oh, wait. He's going to cleave the three of us. I shouldn't have done this. I didn't even think about it. Okay. Uh, we can get back in the fight. Or we can... Suits yeah, brace purpose. for impacts. Not moving, but that boosts everybody. Already done. You go. Let's Warp attack. <laughs> Too easy. Voice of command. It's gonna. Oh, he kicked. Okay. That's okay. <clears throat> Could have been worse. How come I can't see their HP in thirteen? I can't see the chance to hit in their HP. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, I should have gave her the plasma gun. Probably would have helped out a lot. I can't see how much HP this guy has left. Okay. <clears throat> Just happened. Uh, Pascal. We have momentum. Yeah, we're gonna machine. We're gonna machine spirit banish. Okay, let's exploit. Let's do the banish machine spirit. And we'll snipe. 
You sniped this guy? Can't see the chance to hit. 10%, I think? Um... This is the same thing. All right. Okay, nine damage. Now is your chance. Now is your time to shine. Swing. No matter the cost. Swing. At your beck and call. Don't stop. Swinging. Okay. We have Cassia. Like that. I am a navigator. That frees up Argenta. It's just the sniper back there. If I may. Abelard, go again. At your back and forth. I will do my duty. Endure. Okay. Is he good? You good? Prone. Cannot act and suffers a 30% penalty to parry and dodge. Character cannot be the target of voice command ability. Okay. Uh, when are you no longer prone? Suits my purposes. Break their ranks. Voice of command on Cassia. Melee attack. Okay. Okay, now he's back up. Ow. Jeez. All right, let's do the call shot thing. Faith Open fire. Is worthless. You'd think a bolt gun would be a bit more effective. As the Emperor commands, run and gun. Act. Guided by faith. Oh, I have no more action points. Uh, okay. Yeah, you were. I do not care about you at all, dude. Uh. Buffness on Abelard. I can't charge. He's too close. Does this do? We still have Nothing. word of the Emperor. I think we do. We're gonna do it again, but just in course, case. Lord Captain. Everyone, step aside for the throne's All right. Uh, yeah. Someone's Daring Breach, might as well. To grant. Uh, we'll do the warp attack. Fuck it. And then a couple regular attacks. And we do, like, no damage. Alright, again. Exploit. Hit him. Okay. I should have went up to heal. Hit him with the ring. Nice. Torn enemy. Haunt. It will be done. Endure. 
Indeed. wing. Okay. Yes, here. Can you hit this guy? Not too far. Okay. Uh, let's get you behind Be some cover. Gaze him so he can't move. Isn't this a job for the sir? Give Creamy some temporary HP. And Adelard goes again. Not a servitor. At your beck and call. Nice. And endure. Again. All right. Suits mine, Do this. Do this. Oh, I thought he was supposed to get an attack of opportunity. Wait, what? The target is under the effect of voice of command. They immediately make an attack of opportunity against an adjacent enemy. Why didn't he do that? Nothing I can't do. Okay. Okay, he should not have been able to move. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, it was scripted. I was like, he shouldn't have been able to move, and we also didn't get any attacks of opportunity. And. You. Like eight guys just spawned. Great. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Yeah, you sure will. I'll do it. <laughs> nice. Uh, run and gun. No, we can't do that. Okay. Heal. Injuries will not slow me. Nice. All right, Heinrichs. Not great. Can you charge him? Oh, we sure can. Okay. I won't object to it. Holy terror, smite your enemies. Okay. Oh, we can move and attack again. Get me a target. All right, that's fine. I won't do that. Oh, I can't attack again. Ah, shit. Uh, 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 uh. Give her strength and toughness, maybe. Okay. I feel like I please. Boost our weapons. Okay. Abelard. Follow my lead. I will do my duty. It will be done. I took care of this one. Okay. Good work. Can Cassia hit them with her eyeball? You sure can. The fury of House awesome. She's the best character. Uh, okay. So I hit the wrong button. As the Emperor commands, I act. He's almost dead. That was insulting. I'll live another day. Let's see how they respond to this. All right, Cassia. Not my specialty. Hers too far. Damn. You Abelard. Kill this guy. 
At your back and call. Really, one out of three? Not a problem for me. All too easy. How did he get toxin? Ow. He should have shot with his heavy bolter more. He would have wrecked us. Oh, I remember I have to have Pasquale heal him. Let's see to it. The Inquisition sends their regards. Finish him, Heinrichs. I'm done with this one. The Emperor is on our side. More trouble than it's worth. Oh, he can heal and then move. Ah, uh, that's... That's good. Yeah. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Indeed. It will be done. God damn it, dude. So far away, I man. Of military tactics. Get right on the edge. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. I'll show you Lord, go. navigators are feared. It's your finest hour. Wait, can we not move that way? Victory is imminent. Eh? Okay. my way. Oh, I forgot about this guy. My tactics are flawless. Suits my purpose. Okay. Already done. Let's make it quick. Wait, does she not get to go again? Is it two rounds if you're prone? I'll put my psychic abilities to use. I won't object to it. Holy crap, just getting over here is such a pain in the butt. Dead? Oh my god, thank god. Okay. Loot the. Uh... Wait, where's his body? Oh, there he is. Heavy bolter. Alright, we need to be a heretic, though. Life draining sword. Heretic. There's an alarm going off in my background. Sorry, hold on. Hold on. Okay. It's a shame we can't use any of the Chaos Space Marines weapons. Or gear. Alright, loot all these guys. Let's level up. While we're here. Oh, we got two levels. Um. Toughness, I guess. Brutal Hunter, sure. D 
Uh, deals bonus damage till the end of combat. Target gains voice of command. Sure. Oh, I already have it. Uh, all negative effects are immediately removed. Ooh, until the officer's next turn, the target cannot die. Yes. All right. We finish with officer. Oh, and then we get to pick. We get three levels? Vanguard. Master Tactician. I wish it gave us a better description of what... Grand Strategist. A master battlefield positioning for themselves and their allies. A Grand Strategist is able to increase the battle effectiveness of their party by designating and strengthening important parts of the battlefield. Core focus, battlefield control, ally buffs, unique utility, enemy debuffs. Okay. Master Tactician. Always in the thick of battle using their leadership and combat prowess. Master, master Tacticians are able to harness the momentum of their party to enhance the combat effectiveness effectiveness of their allies and themselves. Core focus scaling with party success, long-term single target buffs, momentum, and versatility. That sounds good. Vanguard. Vanguard, an unstoppable force on the front line and a beacon for their allies. Even when facing extremely heavy fire, a Vanguard only grows stronger in the crucible of battle. Core focus, frontline leader, defensive support, temporary wounds, absorbing attacks, attack redirection. I'm going to put, we're going to make our guy a Vanguard. Yeah, we're going to be a Vanguard and we'll do Cassia because we're both, uh, we're both the same class. We'll make Cassia, um, something else. We're going to do ballistic skill for you. Uh, plus three deflection, sure. Uh, target cannot move. Uh, target's movements. Uh, also intimidates all enemies. No. Target also provokes an attack of opportunity whenever it attacks. Uh, let's do this one, I guess. And then archetypes. Assassin. Assassins are masters at identifying the slightest vulnerabilities of key targets and dispatching them by any means necessary. Core focus. High damage, dodge, and dodge reduction. Threat elimination, hit and run. I don't think that's for Pedro. Bounty hunter. Bounty hunters are methodical killers who leave trails of dead bodies in their wake. Bounty hunter chooses their next target before the previous one has even realized it's dead. Critical hits, defense reduction, killing key targets, repositioning. Maybe... Grand Strategist. Master of Battlefield Positioning for themselves and their allies, the Grand Strategist is able to increase the battle effectiveness, effectiveness of their party members uh, by designating and strengthening important parts of the battlefield. Battlefield Control, Ally Buffs. Oh, wait. That's the same as... Uh, we'll go Bounty Hunter. Mark an enemy as prey. Kills a target marked as prey. They gain a stackable bonus until the end of combat. Deponents... Bonus uh, depends on the enemy difficulty tier. Sure. Bounty Hunter. All right. Heinrichs. Uh, strength. Yeah. And then enemies adjacent to the Psyker suffer 10% more damage. That sounds actually really good. Daring Breach also grants plus 10 movement points till the end of the turn. The word does not provoke attack of opportunities. Sure. All right. What archetypes do you have? Assassin, Vanguard, Arch Militant. An Arch Militant is a formidable master of warfare, able to blend various weapons and styles mid-combat, be it melee or ranged, or anything in between. The Arch Militant is the best at it and becomes stronger and stronger with each second in battle. Core focus, versatility, large area attacks, personal buffs, weapon set rotation, crowd control. That sounds like Argenta. He, we could probably do assassin. Make him an assassin. Argenta. Uh. Yeah, no, no, heresy. Seems good. Medic 
K. Let's boost your medic K. Till the end of the soldier's turn, they gave a plus four movement and their attacks do not spend movement. Wait, why would their attacks spend movement? Till the end of combat, the soldier's rate of fire is increased by 30%. Till the end of combat, all of the soldier's attacks are 20% harder to dodge. Till the end of combat, the soldier's range attacks gain 10% armor pen. Yes, please. And then she... We're going to do Arch Militant. Okay, now... Asia. Let's get your toughness up a little bit. Whenever a creature in combat gains an extra turn, the navigator gains a stacking plus five bonus to willpower until the end of combat. Um... Perception is higher than their agility. Yep, yeah, then their dodge is calculated using perception. Sure. Target at finest hour uh, deals bonus of damage. And they gain the voice of command. Sure. Okay, and then she will be Master Tactician. Or Grand Strategist. This front line can create specific areas providing bonuses to all allies including front line back line and rear in the first turn all three areas can be created the following turn only one of them could be created all areas can be moved with the corresponding abilities and cannot overlap if there are two more grand strategists in the party the combat tactics areas are common and the highest intelligence bonus and fellowship bonus of all grant Ooh, there cannot be more than one front line back line or rear on the battlefield Jeez. Master Tactician. Plus one stack of tactical advantage per every five momentum gained by the Master Tactician or their allies. Master Tactician begins combat with a number of tactical advantage stacks equal to their fellowship bonus. Master Tactician empowers their next attack to deal plus four percent additional damage for every stack of tactical advantage. Uh... Uh, all right, we're going to try Grand Strategist. It sounds super complicated. We'll try it. Uh, Toughness, right? Boost your toughness. Increase Resolve. I'm not entirely sure what resolve is. What is resolve? All allies excluding Xenos in the current party gain plus five to the same characteristic as was chosen for humanity's finest. Uh oh yeah, get off me. I'll use that. Uh where it does not provoke attack for opportunity. Okay. And then archetypes. He's a vanguard, right? Did we pick vanguard? We did. I'm a vanguard. And we have an assassin. And we have an arch militant. So. He would be good as an assassin too, right? Or should we do Vanguard? Vanguard seems like more of the tankier. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give him Vanguard. Maybe I should have made myself Assassin. Uh, okay, and then let's give... Uh, newest to oldest. So no one can use the Life Draining Sword. Oh, she does not have plasma weapon proficiency. Can Pascal use it? Yes, he can. What do you have currently? A long last. Is that better than the sniper rifles? It is. 
Plasma gun does an AoE. Hmm. Drakari weapon. For oh yeah, that's right. We got some Drakari stuff. She can't use that staff. Okay. Okay. Uh, did I get any better pistols? We could give him the lightning arc, but he has something called Siphon Life. Um, We did not get any better pistols, nor did we get any better armor. Does he have Endure? I don't know. We're going to give him the dodge thing. Okay. I think we are done here. Let's I'll get in one of the these stars. shuttles. To the void ship. To the void ship. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, what's this? Rebel sniper rifle. Mesh fist. Okay. Not, that rebel sniper rifle looks better than what Pedro Pascal is wearing. All right, game, give us a little exposition. What the heck's going on? There's Chaos Space Marines and there's Drakari flying around. What the heck is happening? Also, we finished Act 1, I'm assuming, because we all our characters leveled up like the first third of the way. I want to see what the what the real map looks like. Status report. My council. <clears throat> Foxmaster Victus, thanks be to the Emperor, you are alive, your lordship. We are most gratified by your return, and the crew is full of zeal to carry out any orders you may have. Before anything else, I will hear an account of what happened to the system's sun. Lord Captain, we saw a number of ships approach the sun. Black creations of inhuman make, amalgams of sharp angles and edges. They surrounded the star, and then... My apologies, but I struggled to find the words that could describe that terrible sight. The Xenos made the sun vanish into the void. Tegrator closes his eyes and grimaces. Drakari. See Abelard's expression change as if a shadow has suddenly fallen over him. He rubs his temple wearily. As if we did not have enough troubles on our hands already. Uh, the Xenos enemies of humanity? A breed of the Eldari, the most cruel and devious of their kind. The design of their ships matches the description provided by the Voxmaster. Like all Xenos, the Drakari are a blight on the face of the galaxy. But their technological superiority is indisputable. They abhor and fear warp sorcery, which is why they rely on creations of their twisted intellect. And many of those creations are capable of things that may seem akin to sorcery in the unenlightened eye. The theft of a sun is one example of what they are capable of. Are they in league with the cultists? We can rule out that possibility. The Drakari would never ally themselves with the arch enemy's worshippers. If I had to name one thing that humanity and these Xenos have in common, it would be a sheer loathing for warp corruption. Heinrichs glances around. The situation calls for immediate action, Creamy. We can continue this conversation later if you so wish, but right now, he gestures at the deck teeming with tumultuous activity, I believe you should assume command. What's the current situation on my ship? The navigator Sanctum is no longer empty. But the warp engine is still refusing to obey the engine seers. Without it, we cannot perform a warp jump. Pascal's voice buzzes anxiously from his vox. It may be angry, or perhaps it is lamenting the injuries it has suffered. I will immediately initiate preparations for a prayer service. 
the Omnissiah grants me comprehension, I will appease the machine spirit of this vessel. Why didn't you send a shuttle for us? I do apologize, your lordship, but we were unable to receive your request for evacuation. The Vox Link run with vile... Oh. A little hiccup there. The Vox Link was overrun with vile interference, screams, blasphemous hymns, and other equally sinister notes. Any who listened to the interference for a protracted period lost their sanity. Several dozen operators went mad monitoring the Voxcaster in the hope of hearing your voice. Each one of them waited in vain. Uh, what is happening? Oh. Game is crashing? Maybe? Game? Wait for the program to respond? It'd be nice if we could get through this and just save the game. I can hear the music. Okay, well, we'll fix it in the next episode. I, I assume it's saved after a fight with Aurora. And we'll just begin the next episode with this conversation again. Thank you all for watching. Sorry about this little hiccup. Next episode will be out tomorrow. Same time, same place. So make sure to come back then. Uh, make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. I love you all. Again, I hope you had a nice weekend. Hope you had a good holiday if you celebrate Easter. And uh, I will see you all very, very soon.